Hello YouTube. In today's video we're going to be swapping our fans in the Synology Rack Station RS815 Plus with these Noctua NFA 4X20s. Let's get started. Well, the RS815 Plus by Synology is not necessarily a very loud machine. It is certainly not very quiet either when you're trying to push a lot of air through those hard drives, especially when you're running 1700 RPM drives like me. So I want to quiet it down a little bit, but not by compromising a hell of a lot on airflow. So I decided to get these Noctua NFA 4X20s. These are 40 millimeter fans. They're two centimeters thick and they should be able to move quite a bit of air. They run at 5,000 RPM, but should still be reasonably quiet at, uh, at that speed. If it turns out to be too loud, we can always use the low noise adapters included in the packaging. And uh, since this NAS should have three of them, we're going to release all three of them. So I've already taken off the ears, just takes a couple of screws. And the top cover should come off with just these uh, couple of screws around the perimeter of the machine. So let's take them out and uh, go from there. And with uh, the screws taken out, we should be able to pull it forward and up. There's nothing in the way there. You can tell it's quite dusty. It's been running for a couple months. I will say I've had no complaints whatsoever about the performance of this machine. It's been rock solid stable. All right, so we can see we have a fan over here, over there and over there. There's also a fan included with the power supply. We will not be touching the power supply at all. Oop, just did. Oh well, guess I'll die. Um, anyway, just taking a look around. I'm just seeing uh, two screws holding each fan in. So it should be pretty straightforward. Just take the screws out and the fan should pop out as well. With the screws out of the way, we should be able to remove the fans fairly easily. And these are pretty dusty overall. Just disconnect them like so. They're just straight connections. Just pull them off like that. And these should be very standard in terms of uh, color coding on the wires. No modification should be necessary on this particular model. And last but not least, Number three, in case you want to find out which fans to replace the existing ones with, if you want to stay original, let's see if we can get that in view here. These are the specifications. And uh, I guess we can go straight to putting in the Noctuas. One thing I'm noticing, someone has been in here before. I've only just noticed this. I'm also wondering whether these things are original. I think these air baffles are, but there is actually a Noctua splitter on here. Which is very interesting. I don't really see why though, because frankly, this bit is not in use at all. So it could have just gone with a single plug there. I guess maybe someone wanted to add another fan, but decided not to in the end. I'm not entirely sure. Really didn't notice that until just now. Huh. It's not like the cables are way too short or anything, I don't think. There we go. I guess this was their way of trying to quieten down the system, but because I've never had it open this far. But yeah, this is not a low noise adapter, it's just a splitter. Huh. Very interesting. We'll be using the original extension cable from the Fan 2 header. This does make an interesting case though on how to maybe add some fans, but I don't think that'll ever work. Uh, yeah, so let's put it underneath the air baffle so we can easily reach it and go with the uh, Noctua's. Okay, everything is reassembled in terms of fans at least. Let's 
put in a power cable, see if all the fans will actually spin, because we're not that sure at the moment. Here's a, shot, a slightly better shot at them. Yep, they're all starting up. And let's power it back up again. All right. I guess we can put the lid back on, put it in the rack, put it through its paces the next couple days, monitor all the temperatures. If they're the same or lower than before, I'm going to keep the Noctuas. If the temps are a bit higher, but quite a bit higher actually, and the drives are starting to overheat a little bit, I will probably revert back to the Sunans, but uh, we'll have to see. For now, reassembly time. Of course, first, always remove the power. All right, I've put the NAS back together. All I need to put is rise back in, but I'll do that once it's back in the rack. Uh, I want to end the video here. Uh, there's one thing I want to note, and that uh, I've done a lot of reading up on this particular subject, on replacing the fans in this uh, NAS. And uh, many people say that it is recommended to run the fans at full speed. Not because it won't move enough air otherwise, but because these fans might stop. Because they're not pulling quite as much use as the Sunon fans that I uh, that we've replaced them with. So that's a good thing to note. If you're going to do this, make sure to put the fans on the uh, full speed profile. They might work okay and cool. We'll have to see how that works. But uh, I'm just going on the recommendations. I'll be putting these on full speed. I'll see what the noise levels do and what the temperatures do. Uh, hoping to get at least some noise reduction. If it's going to be one or two degrees warmer, I'll accept that. If it's much warmer, I'm not going to accept that and just live with the noise. We'll have to see. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.